Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Transport Fever, European Free Play Edition. And in the last episode, we got Workingham connected up with not one but two rail lines, one coming in from Curtin up to Workingham, and the other running over this way to Dunwich. We also have a stop here at the Chorleywood Docks. Uh, not dockles, the dock, Chorleywood docks. We have not set this up yet just because there is no reason right now to use the harbor because of course reasons. We are not even connected up to Willenhall or Beckles and those are the two destinations that uh, Chorleywood would be connected up to. We have Workingham, we have a docks here but we have, of course, no connections over there. And so now what we would like to do is connect up Bullington with a line between Workingham and Northwich. So over here, and we have a machine factory there. Okay. Uh, we have our rail line coming in right there. So this is basically going to run out this way, possibly around like that, into Bullington. What I'm probably going to do, we're gonna have a harbor down here. The town's most likely gonna expand this way. And we're gonna have to bring a line down to a harbor down here for workshop, possibly on this tip here so that we can run Workingham to Workstop and Bullington to Workstop. I might, although this might be a little bit too long for a tram, to the harbor, uh, we'll see because I might bring a harbor into there although we might just do Workstop to Bullington. Maybe Bullington all the way over to Beckles, we'll see. So what I would like to do first of all, how is the town right now? So we have residential over here, some residential here, commercial in here, industrial down there, and it looks like the town was over here, but it tore itself out. Looks like we had buildings over here. We had some over in there. Actually none there, we had one there. All right, so yeah, we are going to do a harbor right over here. And I'm actually going to connect it onto this road, which would be potentially ideal. And we are going to, so one over to workshop. It's going to be a relatively short trip. One over to Faversham. Uh, we'll do three terminals. Right there. And now All right, we are going to might as well do tram. And now, why is that? going to tear itself out because it's a small street okay and we want that connected up like that we are going to do a bus terminal here we're going to do electric tram And I'm going to 
going to actually run like that. We are also going to two tracks, Birkingham, Northwich. Yep. Now, eh, we're not going to need a second street connection. Bring that like that. We're going to run this like that. And now we are going to keep that on the flat and Interesting that there can be a span that much without or the catenary masts. Okay. Now we are going to want to connect this up to Workingham. Let's put contours on. Uh, we are going to have a ridge here. We are going to have this run over to there. And this is on the outside do we keep it at height this is at a 125 and this is going to be at a 129 Sure. Although bother do I no So we have the line from Workingham 
and that is 120. We are going to build the next stretch from Northwich. Um, I'm actually going to go around the coal mine. And now, if I put it on the flat, no, we're not going to put on the flat. things roll get some money it's a 130 right there that is a 148 let's come from this end and now it's going to want to put a yep we might as well And end of the month. Let's borrow up the money. up with this what does it want to do for us uh, tunnel sure and August 1st Let's slow it down to two speed. And now we have this left to do. There we go. And what I would like to do is just do a little bit of smoothing. We're also going to want to think about freight, although with that said, depending on which factories we connect up, that may answer the question about which freight. All right, we want to signal there as well as there. We are going to make those one way. And I am going to signal up the rest of this. We are going to repay and throw down some signals. All right, so we have that signal up and we have that signal up as well. 
Now it's just a matter of extending that line as well as running in that line. Although before we do that... Oi! Wow, 56 to Curtin to Workingham and 13 for Dunwich to Workingham. Wow, okay. And we have 5 for Curtin to Workingham. Nice. And the Chorleywood. Nice. And over here, seven and one. And yeah, I don't really like how the, this is, yeah, it'd be nice if this was high, or hovering over the station itself. All right. What we would want to do though, is set up a local route. Now we want to put a tram depot or tram station there. First of all, when we bring in a road line, I'd probably be bringing it in from there. So that is going to run off in that direction. I will probably run it up and over, probably around alongside this, around the lake, into here. And I'm probably going to have a Bullington to Workingham one as well. I might just bring it into here. Or throw it in like this. bring it in here or actually no I would most likely bring it in to here and just have it yep let's that out and now Actually, can we upgrade this to a large? Yes, we can. All right, we're going to run this. This come in to about, um, if 
if we were going to to drop down like that. I might widen it. To there. that bridge available. All right, we will connect this up. Let's just let things roll. Although now we're out of money. tunnel that all right we have that connected up and then we are going to run this although we may change this once we figure out what we're going to do with the coal mine. And this needs to go into there. Two seven million. Let's repay. All right, so we have that road connected up there. We have road connected up there. Yep. All right, and we are going to want to connect up a road going over to there. I'm going to want to have, it's probably going to bring this one into here, which is why I made this a, all right. Now we are going to want to bring this in to here. So I might as well stay on this side of the
Although... need to do that. You do not need to have too much curvature. And we'll have this coming into there. Alright, so I have the signals on there. We have the roads connected up there, there, as well as there. So, we are going to connect up, so we have 8P from Curtin to Northwich. We are going to have 9P and 10P, although there's actually going to be an 11. This is going to be 09P from Curtin. to Workingham. This is going to be 10P from Northwich. And we'll just let that run on one speed. Northwich to Bullington. And this one is going to be 11P from Working ham to bowling to All right, so the 9P is curtain to working ham. Gonna have a run from here over to here. This one is going to go from here over to somewhere around here. Now... I would like to have two separate stations. This is not going to be a tram station. And then this next one is. Yep, right about here. And now what I would like to do is electrify this. to there tram station there and we want to upgrade that over here in Bullington we are going to want two lines of bus and this is Bullington Tram RT1. And this is Boss Bullington Tram RT2. We are going to need stops. Have one right there. to place one right there and there. I'll throw another one there. One there. One there. 
one there. You're going to do one there as well as there. Throw there as well as there. We are going to have RT1 going from there up like this. And then RT2. And now we are going to want a tram depot. We'll throw it right there. And we want to buy trams for RT2 and RT1. And what are we paying in running costs about three million a month all right we are going to buy two more for the RT1 line and RT2 line and RT1 line so we got local service there we got local service there yep we definitely have local service there those are connected up. We got 45 for Curtin to Workingham. Wow. All right, what I would like to do, where is the vehicle at the moment? That is heading to Curtin. Uh, that is over there. Uh, nope, not that one. Station, we have six. Yep, a lot more people want to go off in that direction. Possibly to take the train going that way. So what we are going to do, we are going to replace this out. We'll go Prussian and two Bavarian cars. And then the Dunwich to Workingham, 16 passengers there. We have only one there. What I'm going to want to do is we are going to want to run another train on that line. We want the Prussian Bavarian car. And I am going to clone it. We are going to set that to the Dunwich to Workingham line. We are going to take the Dunwich to Workingham line and we are going to run it up to here. And then, uh, not there, then there. and yeah that has to be one and two yep those are all going to be so now what we have is a frequency of on the curtain to Workingham seven minute frequency so yeah we're going to need another train we have on the Dunwich to Workingham, 17 minute frequency. Um, Dunwich to Workingham. That drops that down to 11 minute frequency. I'm probably going to want to put one more train on the line. And so what I'm going to do is we are going to do it right here. Uh, 
Although, you. Do I keep that on the flat? Keep it like that. And now we want a Prussian G3 Bavarian car, Dunwich to Workingham. Although, with that said, that line is now the Dunwich to Bullington line. And that's coming into Bullington. We are going to want a line running up to Northwich. Yeah, right now we don't have one. We want there and that is going to be platform three. This is going to be that color. And we're going to have this come into here. We are going to buy a Prussian G3 with a Bavarian car. We're going to assign it to line one. We want to rename line one TP North Witch to Bowlington. And over here, by trains, Prussian G3, Bavarian car, and Northwich to Bullington. So we have those two lines now set up, or at least one new line, as well as that line expanded. So that looks to be running at a... So Dunwich to Bullington is a 9-minute frequency. I think that will adjust itself. Five minute frequency on Grays to Northwich. We have seven minute frequency on the Curtain to Workingham. Although with that said, we are going to want to run a second train on that line. We have a six minute frequency on the Northwich to Bullington line. Three minute frequency on the West Mulling to Grays. We have a five minute frequency on the TPE West Mulling to Northwich. And we will upgrade those trains at a later time when we actually need them but for now we're leaving them as is and before i forget we are going to need to actually um all right yeah we have the 11p line Upper Workingham. Two here. Curtain Branch. Yep. Curtain to work. Uh, no, no, no. Not, not that. Workingham to Bullington. It's going to run into there, and then we have the Northwich to Bullington. That is going to run from there over to here. We are going to need to rename, and let's just let that run. It is 1912, December 28th. And over here, we are going to need to change this line to the, nope, 12P. This and this is going to have to be the 12F, 
above F. And 12F, Kelvin Koval. Those are just RF lines. Okay. And we have 1913. A new vehicle is available, the Schaffhausen. All right. Well, um, hmm. Schaffhausen is 100 capacity, 27 kilometer hour top speed, 135 tons of weight, 294 kilowatts of power. Hmm. It is only one kilometer hour faster, but it does have a higher capacity. So what I probably won't do is run the Schaffhausen. It costs a bit more. It's more expensive running costs. Flush deck vessels, the last paddle steamer operated by the Swizer Damp Boot AG. All right. Anyway, at this point in time, I am going to be taking a break. Although before we do, I am going to want to run or start up those new lines that we set up. So we have the Curtin to Workingham, we have the Northwich to Bullington, and the Workingham to Bullington lines. Uh, over here, we are going to buy road vehicles. We're going to go post bus ET13. The Northwich to Bullington line. We're going to come over here and... Same thing, this is going to be the Curtain to Workingham. And then over here, we are going to buy another road depot. And we want one on the 9P, we want one on the 11P. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna throw this There, we are going to buy a post bus for the 10P and another one for the 11P line. That will get the 10P line up to a 11 minute frequency, 11P to a 16 minute frequency. The Curtain to Northwich line is a three minute frequency, but it has five buses on it at the moment. We have the uh, 9P line is an 8 minute frequency. All right. And what I'm going to do is we're just going to set these up to replace out, even though we don't need to. If I don't get around to upgrading them, which will probably be unlikely, then those will just replace automatically. We'll let that roll. And we might as well do this as well. Turn those on. I'm leaving my trains without the automatic updates on. Other than that, I think that is pretty much it. We will check back when uh, North Curtin, Northwich, Northwich, Bullington. Yeah, we'll have to check back to see how that's doing coming up in the near future. Although that completes the expansion over in this area. I am going to also need to connect up cargo and get cargo rolling. Although with that said, we are going to want to see about the cargo chains that are in this area. One thing I've been thinking about doing is utilizing a mod or a tweak to enable the placement of industries because I would kind of like to put a steel mill around this area. I wasn't sure exactly where, but getting in a steel mill over in this area, just because right now we only have the steel mill here 
and there's already goods factory, good factory, good factory, goods factory, machines factory. We have machines factory here, machines factory here, goods factory here, machines factory here, goods factory here. We're going to need a ton of steel in this area, and I'm not seeing steel over here. Having one or two sources of steel over here, I was considering maybe placing an iron ore mine down here, getting some iron ore flowing into here. So we can set up the gondola line I've been wanting to set up for a while. I just haven't done it just because there wasn't really any reason to necessarily bring the slag one direction. And just because, yeah, the, the iron ore over here is just a little bit too far away, I find. Yeah, about that. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this episode of Transport Fever, European Free Play Edition. Things are coming along very well. It is January 19th, 1913. And we are getting closer to airplanes. We are getting closer to our first electric trains. I will actually get that achievement since I have never, other than the campaign, run a single electric train. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Scott Frisbee Gaming. And as always, have a good day.